Hey everyone, this is Dr. Tam and Michaela here. So what we're going to do today is I like to show you how to analyze for shoulder problems. It's something super simple that you can do at home. It's also known as the scratch test. All right, you can even use it as a party trick if you want to. So Michaela, tell us a little bit about your um, history if you don't mind sharing, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I played soccer my whole life, throwing in the ball, obviously, gets you a little bit of pain in your shoulders. Um, and then a few years ago, I was bench pressing and I knocked it out of place and I had to put it back in. And ever since then, I've just had this really nagging pain in my shoulder. Mm -hmm. But yeah. That's how it's been ever yeah, since then, Ever huh? since then. So has anyone ever done a scratch test for you before? Not or a scratch test. Not I've scratch done test. some uh, range of motion stuff. Range of but motion stuff? No scratch This test. is kind of like a range of motion. Right, okay. so I'm gonna have you turn and face the wall over here. So the first one we're gonna do is we're going to put your arm up and back behind you and see how far you can go, right? This is the good arm, right? So you're able to go this far and relax and go the other way. And you can see that she's about an inch off from where she was last time, about an inch off. Now we're going to test, so this is called the external rotation as far externally rotated as she can go, all right? Now we're gonna go with the internal rotation. So go ahead and reach behind you, perfect. You see how far she can reach up over here, and now go the other arm. She can reach just as high on this one. So the problem is not so much on the internal rotation as much as it is the external rotation. From an earlier exam, we already found out that her shoulder on the right side is a lot more developed than the shoulder on the left side because for the last few years, she has been really babying that left shoulder because it's been hurting a lot more, right? So what we're going to do is we're gonna show her some stretches that she's gonna be able to do, and be able to do that tonight at home and really stretch out the external rotation of the shoulders. So you can turn back around. Little bit about the external rotation of your shoulders. The shoulder rotator cuff muscles have four different muscles. So these are your rotator cuff. In school, the acronym is called the SITS muscle, S-I-T-S. So let me show everyone actually. Okay, I'm gonna have you turn this way, turn back around. Mm -hmm. So the SITS muscle, there's four. What's the S? The first S is the supraspinatus muscle. So you guys can look it up that's going to run above the spine of the scapula. It's gonna run right through here because if you can see, her scapula is like a triangle right through here, okay? So there's the supraspinatus. The I stands for the infraspinatus, inferior of where the spine is going to be, spine of the scapula. There is the teres minor. The teres minor connects right through here, okay? And then there is also the subscapularis. That, I think, is the hidden muscle where no one really knows where it is because the subscapularis is hidden from where the scapula is. It's underneath the scapula. So that's why it's called, hence the word, subscapularis. So it's between the scapula, it's on the underside. If we took her scapula and turn it, it's on the underside between her scapula here the subscapularis and then the rib cage underneath, it's hidden. So a lot of times, go ahead, you can turn back around now. A lot of times when we are doing things around work, around the house, you're driving, right? All the time your arms are in front of you. So it's really easy to have that muscle tightened up. One of the best stretches that we show our patients is actually where they can lean against the wall and just open up, right? Right, it just opens up right here, but yeah. for you, it's probably gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a it's lot. It's gonna hurt a lot yeah. because that's an injured joint. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you at home, if you are in pain or your shoulder's in pain, if no specialist has looked at it yet, make sure you don't just go about doing these stretches because you can hurt yourself. So always see a specialist or a doctor first before doing any of these stretches. Now, for you, we're gonna start off really um, slow. First, we're going to grab we're gonna grab this pole right here. And what we're going to do is imagine like you are going to pull a sword okay. from behind you, right? All of a sudden we're, we're uh, King Arthur or the Queen Arthur here, okay? So you get the pole now. 
al already you yeah. feel you feel this right yeah so don't come up that high okay. lower the elbow a little bit okay there we go. but then externally rotate turn the elbow out like this you feel it mm -hmm. uh-huh so all you have to do is just hold it okay. just the weight a lot of times just the weight of the pole or you can use a golf club a broomstick whatever it may be is enough to turn yeah. the shoulder right so here she's already feeling like a little bit of a strain some stretches right so you just hold that start off with maybe 10 seconds work your way up to 20 and eventually 30 seconds right so that's how you would stretch that area now because she feels some soreness in there i'm going to actually show you exactly how to do that stretch if you have a little bit more range of motion okay. okay let me get in the in the shot here so once again we're going to grab okay this pole over here and you see your elbows you want it to be flat and even mm -hmm. with the rest of the shoulder right and from here you're going to grab the pole here and you're going to pull this way as you pull this way this my left arm right over here it's just holding on to the stick right there this is actually what's cranking it up and as you can see from the different angles it looks just like this and now i'm going to hold it for about 30 seconds you know you should feel a stretch but it should not feel like it's painful i think that's where a lot of times people go wrong is hey dr tam i did that one stretch and afterwards wow it hurts so much right I said, whoa, how long did you do it for? How hard did you hold on to it for? And they'll say, well, I, I, I did the stretch. I felt it, so I just went harder. Yeah. And I said, no, you don't want to go harder on a stretch. The moment you feel some sort of stretch in the muscle, mm -hmm. that's it. That's all you really need to do. It's how long you're holding it for. Okay. I mean, muscles are like a rubber band. Okay, think of a rubber band. If you take a rubber band and you hold it and you feel a stretch, how do you get that rubber band to stretch? Do you keep pulling harder and harder and harder? No, no. It's, what's it gonna do? Break. Oh, it will break, Eventually. it will snap, right? What you do is you hold it until it stretches mm -hmm. and you hold it here for a little bit. Okay. And maybe the next day you pull a little bit more. And then the next day you hold it here for a little bit longer minimum to actually get a stretch out of a muscle is 30 seconds you really want to get to an hour i mean not an hour one I was minute like, Whoa. not an hour one minute rephrase okay one minute okay. one minute it's best 30 seconds is really a minimum okay any questions on this shoulder stretch no i'll be doing it when i get home there you I go really all right let me know if you like this leave some comments below we'll see you next time